Happy day. Hello, everyone. It's another day. It's a Wednesday and another day for today's talk with Marty G. And I am Marty G. Today, I have another brand new friend. This is Tyler Vanderhoff. Tyler, good morning to you. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Very good. Thank you. You know, this, I got to be totally transparent. This is an accidental interview. I've never had an accidental interview today. This is the first time I've had one. <laughs> wow. Right? Yeah. I mean, I got to be honest, because we were actually uh, setting up to talk about uh, Tyler's event, and uh, I tricked him into an interview. Well, he, he accidentally filled out the interview form, right? Yeah. And so now here we are talking to one another on today's talk. So be careful. You never know what happens when you're getting with Marty G. So welcome, Tyler. Glad you could be a guest on my show. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. You bet. So tell me about Pac West Academy. Pack West Academy is a postgraduate football program that's uh, coming to Eugene, Oregon, the first ever. And we promote personal development and at-risk youth by providing the tools and resources to support student athletes as they pursue a college education through athletics. And we support them with getting ready for retaking the SAT or the ACT prep, or we also give them a extra high school uh, class to recovery course, or we help um, get them at college credit and they take part-time classes. So we have different academic platforms for them. They're all gonna be on their own individual academic plan. And we help them if they need an extra six to 10 months, essentially close that gap between high school and playing at the university level. So this is kind of cool. This is like a resource for basically high school athletes, right? Trying to figure out what to do. Now, that I've never heard of anything like this before. How did you come across this idea? Well, I was someone that could have benefited from this program when I was in high school. I grew up in Eugene, and I was unaware of how the NCAA Clearinghouse worked. And so when I was a May of my senior year, I was asked about being NCAA cleared, and I had no idea what it was. And so looking back what basically that is you have to have a certain amount of core classes so that's english math social studies and science and they have to have the um like four credits for english for example uh three for math so on and i had three and a half credits well what i what it was going back is my freshman year i took a read write class my mom had me put in a read write class my freshman year because i was not the greatest at remembering what i read and so on top of my freshman English, I took that class. And so coming into my senior year, I was over the amount of credits I needed to graduate high school for English. And mm -hmm. so I assumed that I was good for college and I ended up those classes didn't count. And I was short of my English that I needed to get into the NCAA. So I wow. couldn't accept the NCAA scholarships that I was in the process of trying to get. And so I was limited on where I could go out of high school and I had no idea. I was a 2.75 student. I wasn't great. I wasn't terrible, but you're right. They're in the middle. So yeah, that's so, strange. They didn't have an advisor there to tell you that, Hey, you, you need to take this. They didn't have that for you either. Right. No. Wow. So I didn't, I mean, I, I didn't know really what to do at the time. And so growing up, I played, I ended up playing NAI and I ended up at Southern Oregon and that's where I spent the most of my time. And I just fell in love with the sport and coaching and giving back. And so over the years, I've been coaching high school and I've spent some time at the college level and I even tried international coaching and I always wanted to bring something to my community that was a need. And so with COVID happening, I had been thinking about this program already for three years. And then when COVID happened and the high school seniors didn't get to play and I knew people I personally coached that weren't able to play their senior year. And so it just kind of hit home to like, now is the time. I don't know when sports will happen again, so I have nothing but time to plan. True. Uh, to launch this program. And so I just got to work on it when I was coming back from Finland, which is where I was coaching when the pandemic started. And they sent me home because they couldn't pay for my apartment. So I was just on the plane writing down everything and trying to figure out how to make this program happen here for the community. So well, it probably takes a little bit of fundraising, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> which is what leads to what we're talking about here. Yeah, right? Which, hey, nice segue. <laughs> yeah. So you got one coming up, right? Next week, or is that next week, I think, and then it's 15th? Yep. So May we gotta 15th. go. 
think I've got it up on screen. Is that the PWA? Can I, is that on my screen right now? I think I shared the right screen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so first ever Craig Howard Memorial Golf Tournament. Okay, so you're gonna have to educate me because I'm, I mean, I've been in Eugene for 13 years, but there's still stuff I'm learning all the time. Tell me who Craig Howard is. Yeah, so Craig Howard was my coach at Southern Oregon University, and he has been a longtime legendary coach uh, in the state of Oregon. He grew up in Grants Pass, and he coached at multiple different colleges and high schools in the area, but he also spent time in Florida coaching at the high school level, and he won a state championship with Tim Tebow, which might be a familiar name. for Yes, Bronco. matter of fact, I'm a Bronco fan, so yes, I know that guy. Yeah, so he coached them to a state championship, and he was on a – uh, ESPN documentary uh, during that time, and that's kind of his his big name he coached. But then when he came to Southern Oregon University, Southern Oregon was not in a conference, and we were independent. And he took him from an, a not, like not even a program to national champions in four years, and taught a lot of life lessons along the way, and was a huge mentor of mine that passed away four years wow. ago. And it's someone that I still use his stuff he taught me every day in my life and I wanted to give back to him while also launching a program that I know he'd be proud of and so I just thought I could bring these two together for this event. Okay okay so tell me a little bit more about the tournament where where's the tournament happening? So it'll be at Fiddler's Green in Eugene which is off um, on Highway 99. Okay Okay. And anybody can participate or do you have to be a pro? Because, you know, I'm kind of a novice, even though I know. I yeah, anybody club, can but... participate. It's a social event and it's all about just networking and getting out during these tough times. Uh, there's going to be uh, different sponsors of different industries. So it's a good opportunity to network and meet new people and just support a great community cause. Cool. And a $10,000 hole-in-one contest. Hey, that's a good one. I like that. You know, I actually, when I was living in uh, Utah, uh, Utah a while back at a radio station, I used to DJ it. They had a million-dollar golf shot, hole-in-one. Somebody hit it. The oh, insurance wow. on that was huge, and somebody actually hit it. It just blew me away. But uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So tell me, uh, you know, I think if, if this is this is your very first fundraiser you put together? Yeah, with this uh, PacWest Academy, for sure. Fantastic. So I hope you have a lot of help with it. Are you excited about it? Yeah, I'm very excited. And we've got, I've got more help than I can even manage right now. So it's great. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I'm really hoping I can be a part of it. Now you and I are talking about me being a part of it. So hopefully I'll be able to be out there with you. Um, you know, there's not a lot of things for student athletes like this. I mean, I've never heard of anything like this for, you know, for a postgraduate program. Is there anything like this in the country? Yeah, so in the East Coast and in the South, it's pretty big. There's like 12 in Florida, so um, it's growing over there, and uh, it's something that hasn't really came out West. There's a couple in Vegas, and there's one uh, forming in Tacoma. I've heard since I started mine, another guy reached out to me and said that he's starting one, and there's also one in Arizona. So eventually, I think that I'm hoping West Coast, they'll be more popping up so we can have our own little conference or league but for right now we're just going to play whoever will play us that is has college athletes on their roster okay and i see here it says if you can't attend the event people can still make a donation which i do encourage you know yeah. the viewers please definitely donate if you can but let me ask you if people need to get a hold of you for the event or they've got questions what's a good way to get a hold of you for the event yeah so email um text, call, my phone number is all on the uh, website. And we also have uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Okay. So any of those, they can follow us as well. Okay. And I'll make sure I put all that information in the contacts and uh, in the comments down below this video as well, folks. So, you know, any, let me ask you, any, any parting thoughts that you want to share before, you know, we wrap up? I mean, literally, this is something I think is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, if like I uh, mentioned earlier, if you aren't, av aren't available that date and still want to support, we have uh, we have donations that you can make. Uh, we would encourage that all of your donations would go towards our equipment startup costs um, and benefit this great organization that we're launching here in Oregon. So, if you'd have any uh, any extra five to ten dollars, that would really help us. It goes a long ways. And if, if you were able to pass on like uh, uh, some kind of words of wisdom or 
you know, inspiration. If, if you could talk to yourself back when you were a student athlete, then, you know, what would you say to yourself then right now? I would say if there's something you want to accomplish in life, then do it because you don't want to have any regrets. I definitely would have regretted if I didn't start this program. And so um, definitely if you want to do something, just make it happen and find a way. Great words of advice. Great words. Tyler, I truly appreciate you taking the time and letting me kind of strong arm you into a <laughs> interview with me. By the way, you know, what, what position do you coach? What do you coach? Offense, defense? Or are you uh, a position coach? Yeah, I'm offense. So offense. I played I played wide receiver um, in college. And so I spent a lot of time with the passing game. So did I. I used to play wide receiver and flanker. So if you ever need some extra help, let me know. All right. So I'm your good. guy. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, folks. If you need to get a hold of Tyler, I would definitely encourage it. Again, I'll have all of his contact information in the comments. Please definitely reach out. I'd love to see you guys donate, help them get to their goal and then bring this great program to the area. And let's do it with a bang. Uh, again, once again, Tyler, thanks a lot. If you guys like to be a guest of my show, definitely I'll put that information. This wasn't too painful, was it? No, not at all. Not for the last minute. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. All right. Have a great day, Tyler. Thanks for being on. Yeah, with the right so hand. Oh, yeah, share to the care. airport. I'm going to hit you back with my flight. Man, I'm in the mood for a switch. Up. Yes, I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up. She picks a perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up.